From semen to large male asses, wrestling t-shirts have a long history of being absolutely cringe. My name is Pav aka Wrestling Gifts and today let's take a look at the absolute worst and most cringe wrestling t-shirts of all time. I hope you guys like the setup and I know I made this video like a few months ago but the thing is back then nobody watched my videos and I had like a thousand subscribers. I've grown a lot since then so I said why not make this video once again. Alright so the topic is the worst and most cringe wrestling shirts and all I can really say is I mean where the fuck should I really even start? So back in the late 90s and early 2000s Rikishi was pretty cool. I mean he was a part of the wrestling group called Too Cool. And Too Cool had a banger theme song and everything and they were fun and they were exciting. And then eventually Rikishi won on his own and quote unquote he did it for The Rock. I did it for The Rock. For some reason they had the bright idea of giving Rikishi a t-shirt. Yeah, I don't know who was gonna buy a Rikishi t-shirt but okay whatever they're gonna make one it's fine right? But just look at what they created. Rikishi, back that ass up. Yo, what the hell is this? Okay, who thought this was a good idea? What is the point of this and why would anyone proudly wear this in public? Why would anyone walk around in public with a man's ass on the back of the t-shirt? And no, not just a normal ass, not that that would make anything better, but a large, absolutely enormous fat ass like Rikishi's. What? And no, I'm not trying to be sexist here. If this was a girl's ass on a t-shirt, I still would be like, yo, what are you doing wearing this? But to have Rikishi's fat ass on the back of your t-shirt, what? Who bought this? Big Show has been a wrestler for a long, long time. Longer than I've been alive. He's had more heel and face turns than I've had rejections on Instagram DMs. And trust me, that's a lot. But I have one question. In his 20 plus year career, do you remember one Big Show t-shirt? I didn't. Until I did research for this video and just look what I found. Big nasty bastard. This poor man had to make his Wrestlemania debut wearing a shirt that proudly stated big nasty bastard. Oh my god. Listen I just want to know which idiot got excited when they were watching Wrestlemania 2000 they saw this shirt and they were like yeah, hello, WWF Shop Zone. I like to order a shirt. Oh, for sure. What shirt were you looking to possibly get? I was watching WrestleMania and I saw this shirt that said Big Nasty Bastard and I really, really want to wear that out in public. No problem. We're just getting started. That's the crazy part. <laughs> okay, so shout out to China, rest in peace, a true wrestling pioneer who did a lot for women's wrestling. I was so happy to see China being honored at the Hall of Fame last year as a part of DX. But one thing that shouldn't be honored are the idiots in the late 90s who made these two shirts. Oh my god, these are bad. Alright, so you have this badass chick named China who's casually beating up guys. She could beat me up, my dad up, my whole family up. She's Jack, she's cool, everyone loves her, she's a part of DX. And you gotta make her a t-shirt. What do you put on that t-shirt? You know, you can make something cool, something badass, something epic. But no, let's put the words vagina. You know, get it? Like, you know, vagina and like, vag you get it, right? <laughs> You know what's the worst part? So one bad shirt, whatever, it happens, life goes on, right? It's, it's fine. But no, they didn't stop there. They were on their full Drake mode and went back to back and they hit China with this. I'd rather be in China. Get it? Like, inside the country and like, inside, you know, China. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! China deserved so much better than this. So much better. So over the past year, Becky Lynch has become one of the most popular wrestlers in the company. And she has one of the best selling t-shirts. It simply says, The Man. It's a cool shirt, straight to the point. If you know it, you know it. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, it's fine. It's nothing crazy, right? And then on the other side, we have Seth Rollins. See, Seth Rollins is a wrestler who the WWE wants to be the face of the company. They want to push him. They want him to be the guy. So in real life, Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch are dating. And once the WWE found out, oh my god, it was a wrap. They were so excited. They're like, yeah, we did it. We finally got what Nikki Bella and John Cena were supposed to be. Yo, that still gets me tight. The fact that John Cena wasted a WrestleMania match just to propose to his girl just to mess up and have her leave him in a year. 
God damn it, John. But yeah, so they made that a thing and the WWE was so excited. Like, yo, let's team them up. It's gonna be amazing. They're gonna fight evil and be so over. And let's release a t-shirt while we're at it too. And then they released this. The man's man. What the, why? How is this cool? Why would anybody wear, why would Seth Rollins wear? Uh, honestly, uh, it, it just speaks for itself. You Twitter has roasted this shit enough. So once upon a time, TNA wrestling was actually pretty popular. Um, kind of. But they were getting at least like a million viewers per week and they kind of tried to go head to head with the WWE. It didn't work out, but hey, at least they tried, right? So anyway, in 2010, 2011, they wanted to make a t-shirt for their guy, AJ Styles. One of their top guys, one of their most popular guys, and probably their best wrestler in the company. He had been the face of TNA for like five, six years, and they wanted to honor him with a t-shirt. And what did they make? Here's a t-shirt with his name spelled in what looks like semen dripping. What a beautiful and just absolutely perfect t-shirt. But see this shirt, it may or may not be perceived as semen dripping. On the other hand, we have a shirt from 2000 for none other than Val Venus. And all it says is, I am cocked, locked, and ready to unload. And yeah, no doubt about it. <laughs> that is semen. The best... <laughs> The best part about this shirt is if you look at the screenshot on top of where it says all that wild stuff, it says WWF.com. They were legit proud of this. They're like, yo, we did this. We made this shirt. Buy it from our website. We're so cool. We know fashion. Oh my God. What? Imagine a kid going to his mom for his birthday or something like, yo, mom, I want to buy a t-shirt. I want to buy a wrestling shirt. Okay, so the mom's gonna be like, oh, okay, son, you probably want a rock shirt or a Mankind shirt or even like a Stone Cold Steve Austin shirt. Oh no, mom, I don't want that one. I want, I want, I want this one. The one that says I'm cocked, locked, and ready to unload. I know the Attitude Era was a wild time. I know it was crazy, but this, like, <laughs> why? All right, so it's time for the last shirt. And if you know anything about bad wrestling shirts, you've probably been waiting this whole time for it. It couldn't have been anything else. Ladies and gentlemen, the APA always pounding ass. Yo, did nobody proofread this? Did nobody think how this might come off as? Did nobody look at this and be like, yo, wait, no, no. Did JPL and Farouk at no point were like, you know, this could come off kind of weird. No, nah, no, they're probably way too drunk drinking beer. Well, there you have it. Some of the worst and cringiest wrestling shirts that I could find. And the best part is, oh my God, I found so many more. I might have to make this into a series. This might just be part one. I don't know, maybe in two weeks you'll see part two of the cringiest and worst wrestling shirts, but trust me, there are a lot. So now I have one question for you and admit it, it happens. What is the worst and the ugliest wrestling shirt that you own? It's okay, you don't have to be ashamed. It happens, everybody buys bad wrestling shirts, except for me, cause you know, I only rock the flyest and the best. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like the setup and the production. The channel is growing, so I'm trying to grow too. I'm trying to have better production for you guys. Thank you guys for watching, it means a lot. Have a good night. Wait, what if you're watching this in the morning? Okay, my bad. Have a good day or a good night. Okay, just have a good life, okay, my bad.